In Ma'ar, currently live about 25,000 inhabitants, more than half of them Druze, and the rest Muslims and Christians. There have been a number of archaeological excavations in Ma'ar over the years. According to the findings, the settlement began more than 2,000 years ago, and was inhabited most of the time. During the Roman and Byzantine periods, there was a settlement called Ma'ariya Vazar, and there lived a Bilga shift, one of the shifts of the priests who worked in the temple, before the destruction of Jerusalem. In the Gemara, it is told of Miriam, daughter of Bilga, who converted to Judaism and married one of the Greek kings, who mocked the sacrificial service while the Greeks entered the temple. About 600 years ago, Druze began to settle in the place. The Druze are a faction that came out of Shiite Islam, they believe in Jethro who was their prophet. According to tradition, the religion is secret and known only to the sages of the community. The Druze live in Syria, Lebanon and Israel. About 150 years ago, Christian Arabs and later Muslims also arrived. Horbat Mamalak is an archaeological site. Kafar Mamalak was a Jewish settlement after the destruction of the Second Temple, and the Hezer family lived there, who were from the priest's shift families, and an ancient synagogue was discovered there. In 1996, Zalman Prison was established, two years later Herman Prison was established. These prisons are very much involved in the rehabilitation and preparation of prisoners for the rest of their lives after their release. In 1980, Mashiv Tefahat was established, a second generation of residents of religious Mashavim from the Hezder Yeshivas. The settlement of Kalanit was established in 1981 by young people from the Dalton and Alma Mashavim. A traditional religious Mashiv, which preserves the Tripolitan tradition.